on the next Street Smart. Like Stone Cold, I will be the Street Smart's heavyweight champion of the world. They're wrestling with big questions. How many cards are in a standard deck of playing cards? 30. But the players aren't the only ones showing off their strength. Yeah, check that out. The proof number of a beverage tells you how much what it contains. Alcohol. What are you drinking? Vodka cranberry. That's kind of a girly drink. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Nicotero, and I'd like to dispel a common myth. I do not have three identical brothers. Those three guys on the screens interviewing people all over America, they're all me. It's not like I'm hosting and they're asking questions at the same time, it's on tape. Now that we've cleared that up, here's the two, the two contestants who must predict who out there was right and who was wrong. Hello, Gina. Hi, Gina, it's my sister's name. And we got Big Jack right there, what's up, Jack? There you go. Looking slick in that shirt. You, you know, it breaks my heart to think that only one of you will be leaving here a winner, but it'll mend, I guess. Let's see the three people in the street. First off, Tony's posing and flexing is no match for the mighty Frank. So Tony, you're from Canada. That's correct. And you were, what was the, what was the bodybuilding crown? Light heavyweight bodybuilding BC champion, 1998. Oh, oh look there at you that. go. Right. I don't want to show you up on your moment here, oh, dude. Bad. Big guns. They don't, you know, the try's not bad. <laughs> Feel it! <laughs> look at those eyes, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, check that out. <laughs> look how white I am, God! Who are some people you look up to as bodybuilders? Of course, Arnold. Tom, Arnold's the man. Tom Arnold. And then, not Tom Arnold. <laughs> Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Tom Arnold. <laughs> See how I flipped it to Tom Arnold? I'm so funny. Get ready, because Jamie is about to make us all a bit woozy. Jamie, what do you want to be? A veterinarian. You want to be a veterinarian, but what happened during the, uh, you passed out? Oh, I was cutting the dog open, and I, actually I was giving him surgery for, to do a, well, spaying the dog, okay? And I cut it open, and, I was pulling the ovaries out, and all of a sudden I fell out on the floor. Yeah, I think I would too. <laughs> What's the last thing you read? Oh, Tupac's book. I still think he's alive. He's putting a double album out every six months. <laughs> I don't know. And finally, set your VCRs. LaShawn counts to 10 in a foreign language. So LaShawn, where are you from? What do you do? I'm from Hawthorne, and I'm a hairstylist. Oh, you're a hairstylist. Now, what would you do to make my hair look better? Um, I would probably tape you up around the sides and put some um, gel. Some gel, more gel? More gel, more gel, it's kind of dry. What was your worst class in high school? My worst class was Spanish. Spanish was bad. I don't remember nothing Do about it. you speak me. any Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Un poquito. Si, senor. What did I say? Don't know. <laughs> she can count to 10 though. Let's get the festivities rolling with round one. Who knew it? Bystanders the same questions and they in turn gave me different answers. You two must predict who gave me the right answer. Lock in your choice and if you're right, you get a hundred smackaroos, huh? Let's take a gander. Here's the first question I asked to Tony, Jamie, and LaShawn. Not counting jokers, how many cards are in a standard deck of playing cards? So who knew it? Not counting jokers, how many cards are in a standard deck of playing cards? I think it was Tony, Jamie, or LaShawn. Can you tell me that answer, guys? Lock it in. And... You're locked in, we got a Tony, we got a Jamie. You think Tony knows, huh, Gina? Yeah, he looks like he's played some cards. He's played some cards with us? All right, let's see if we can get you $100. Not counting jokers, how many cards are in a standard deck of playing cards? 52. 52? That's correct. How many states do we have here in America? You got 50. Oh, I thought it was 52. That is incorrect. If you, Hawaii, Hawaii, Alaska make 50. Makes 52. 50. Okay. I'm just screwing with you, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he got it right, way to go, Gina. He got it right. We're doing a whole stage thing. You got 100 bucks now, Jack. Obviously, Jamie didn't get it right, but I want to see what she said anyway. Let's yeah. watch this. Not counting jokers, how many cards are in a standard deck of playing cards? A deck? 30? Oh. Yeah, that's a wrong answer, Jack. I'm sorry, she didn't know that one. All right, it's okay. We got a long show. I showed Tony, Jamie, and LaShawn this photo, and I asked them, who is this? What do you guys think? Who knew it? You think it was Tony, Jamie, or LaShawn can tell me who that is? Jack, we're trying to get you on the board. Gina's thinking, lock in as quickly as possible if you can, guys. And you're both locked in, a LaShawn, and we got a Tony. Very interesting. You think LaShawn knows this time, huh, Gina? Yeah, she's, she watches TV. She watches TV? Yeah. All right, let's see yes. if we can make you two for two. Who is this? That's um, Larry Ford. <laughs> I thought this, is he royalty or what is he? No, he's a newscaster. Uh, he's the king of all forecasting, of uh, newscasting shows. Yes. 
Larry um, Trump. No. <laughs> no, but he is big. He's, he's like the king and when it comes to those, those kind of interview shows. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Gina LaShawn didn't know it. Now, Jack, you think Tony can come through and tie it up? Yeah, Jabron's got to know something. Jabron. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, let's check it. Tony, who is this? <laughs> well, that's uh, Larry King. Larry King. And, and what do you like? Do you like Larry King? I hate him. Why don't you like Larry King? The only thing I like about him is that numerous wives, so <laughs> he's the man. Yeah. Way to go, Jack. There's a hard like for you and Tony. I like like your bro. You got it. We're going to tie game. Last question of the round, guys. I asked all three. Jorel and Lara are the parents of what superhero? So who do you think knew it? Tony, Jamie, or LaShawn knows their, knows their comic stuff. What do you think, guys? All right. And here we go. You're both locked in. You both think Tony knows. Jack, Tony's going to know again? He's, he's a check me out, yeah. OK, yeah. let's try. Let's take a look. Yeah. Jorel and Lara are the parents of what superhero? Uh, Batman. Oh, Batman? <laughs> what's, his, what's his name when he's not Batman? Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry, you both had Tony. That is not a right answer. Do you guys think, who, who do you think knew it up here? Jamie or LaShawn? It is Jamie. No, it's Jamie. Watch this. Jorel and Lara are the parents of what superhero? Superman. That is right. It is Superman. Jamie knew it. There you go. She knew it. Okay. All right, let's speak out the scores. Gina, you have $100. Jack's got 100 bucks too. Okay, I can't speak for the next few minutes of commercials, but I guarantee plenty of laughs and much suspense if you stick around for our next round. When she was a Spice Girl, what was Jerry Hallowell's nickname? Uh, spice. Like something spice. Parmesan. Right, she was kind of cheesy. Right. <laughs> the street sports, let's meet our players. Uh, Gina, you are from uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and you're a grad student, and you yeah. take things literally, don't you? Yeah, I try not to anymore, but one time my mom asked me to throw her the scissors, and I did, and they lodged in her leg. Oh, God! Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She pulled them out. She was fine, a little mad, but now I try not to take things literally. Okay, all right. I'm very good, Gina. All right, now, Jack, huge wrestling fan. Jack's from New York. Oh, you're it's a true. talent manager. I'm from New York. I'm a talent manager, and I am a big professional wrestling fan. Who's your man? Stone Cold is my guy. You like Stone Cold? He's the bad guy. And like Stone Cold, I will be the Street Smarts Heavyweight Champion. Excellent. Oh, I smell what you're cooking, guys. All right, thanks for being here. Recap on the scores. Gina's got 100 bucks. Jack's got 100 bucks. Zip up your windbreaker. We're about to find out who blew it. Here we see just two street scholars at a time. They got the same questions, and each time one of them dropped the ball. Guess who flubbed the question, and you get 200 bucks. OK, guys? And if you're tired of only seeing your street friends get the wrong answers, buzz in and dunch your opponent. The question stumps them, that's 200 bucks for you. If it doesn't stump them, they're up 200 bucks. Be aware, the cap can bite back. Oh, and it can only be used once this round. Here's the first question I asked to both Tony and to Jamie. The proof number of a beverage tells you how much what it contains. So who blew it? Who did not know the answer to that one? Do you think it was Tony or Jamie? Didn't know anything about their alcohol. So let's see here. and. You guys are both locked in. You both think Jamie. Gina, you think Jamie doesn't know this one? Yeah, I think Tony knows a lot about alcohol. OK, so. all right, let's see if we get you guys 200 bucks each. The proof number of a beverage tells you how much what it contains. How, long, how old it is? How old it is? Yeah. You know, I'm glad you missed this one, Jamie, because it's about how much alcohol it contains. Oh. You should know nothing about that. You're too young to drink. Yes. Have you ever had a little sip of something, no. though? No. All right, uh, we're going to take a break. <laughs> have you really done the camera's off? No. You have or have No. I still had the camera rolling. I know. <laughs> she blew it. Way to go. You both got Jamie. Nice job. 200 bucks for each of you. It takes you up to 300 bucks. Uh, Tony had the correct answer, which uh, was alcohol. And we're going to check it out right here. Watch this. The proof number of a beverage tells you how much what it contains. Contains alcohol. How much alcohol, right. That's right. What do you drink? You're here in Vegas. You're partying. What are you drinking? I like vodka. Vodka. That's right. Vodka cranberry. Vodka cranberry. That's kind of a girly drink. I'm a girl. I'm Tony. I like girl, girl drink. Yeah, I am. What you gonna do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony. Thanks, buddy. Here's the next question I asked about Jamie and Sean. I am gonna get hit one day. Watch. Keep watching. I asked both of them. The candlestick and wrench are murder weapons in what mystery board game? So who blew it? Do you think it was Jamie or LaShawn? Did not know the answer to that one, guys. You guys are neck and neck right now, 300 bucks each. Study on the board. Lock in as soon as you can. And you're both locked in on LaShawn. You think she blew it? Jack, she doesn't know this one? No, I don't think so. I don't think she played board games. OK, let's take a look. The candlestick and wrench are murder weapons in what mystery board game? Monopoly. In Monopoly? Yeah. She blew it. Way to go, guys. Oh, yeah. 
Bob, two hundred bucks for each of you. Takes up to five hundred dollars. Jamie had the correct answer. Watch this. The candlestick and wrench are murder weapons in what mystery board game? Oh, Clue. It is Clue. Can you name some of the characters in Clue? No. That's the right answer. Way to go, Jamie. All right, here's the last question I asked to Tony and to LaShawn. I asked both of them, what does WNBA stand for? What does WNBA stand for? What do you think? Oh, Jack, you were on it. He did dunce her. Gina, the cap's on. That means so is the question. I'm going to read it again. You got five seconds to answer. If you get it right, the 200 bucks is yours. If not, Jack takes the lead. What does WNBA stand for? Women's National Basketball Association. Boy, did she nail that. Way to go, Gina. Throw that cap on Jack Jabroni over there. Nice job. You got the lead, Gina. Now, who do you guys think blew it up here? Do you think Tony or LaShawn did not know the answer? So who do you guys think blew it? Nice block, Gina. So guys, punch in as soon as you can. Tony or LaShawn is the one who blew it. What do you think? Okay, you're both locked in. <laughs> Jack is looking serious at the board with the dunce cap on. You think LaShawn blew it, buddy? Let's take a look. What does WNBA stand for? Women National Basketball Association. There you go. I interviewed Lisa Leslie once. Uh -huh. I was up to about, here's her knee, that's where me, right there. That was me interviewing her. Wow. How do you think the team will do this year? <laughs> she got it right, I'm sorry, Jack. She knew oh. the answer. Gina, you predicted it correctly. Tony's the one who blew it, here you go. What does the WNBA stand for? WNBA, this would be World Network Basketball Association. You got it wrong. Way to go, Gina. You made 400 bucks off that question. Nice job. All right, let's recap the scores. Jack's got 500. Gina, 900 bucks. Broke the tie with the WNBA. You'll see only two of our street scholars in the next round. Who will they be? Well, you'll just have to wait and see when we come back. Each year, MTV hosts the VMAs. What does VMA stand for? Video, music, ass shaking. Video, music, award. Award. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Show. But you need some ass shaking in there, though. Hey, welcome back. Sharpen those spurs. It's time to pick your pony. And this round, Gina and Jack each choose one street stage. And guess how they'll answer the next three questions. Correct predictions get you 300 bucks this round, guys. And don't forget that dunce cap in the middle. It's worth $300, and this is your last round to use it. Recapping the scores, Jack has 500 bucks. gina has got 900, thanks to the WNBA. Jack, since you have less cash, we're going to take pity and give you first pick. So who would you like to saddle up? i got to go with Tony Jabroni. You're going to go with Tony Jabroni? All right, Gina, how about you? You got the lead. I'm going with Jamie. Bucks. Go with Jamie. All right. Jack, here's the first question I asked to Tony. 300 bucks on the line. What type of paper is sometimes referred to as TP? What do you think, Jack? Do you think Tony got that right or wrong? You think he got, got it right? right? He got it right. He got it right? He got it right. Okay, let's take a look. 300 bucks. What type of paper is sometimes referred to as TP? Toilet paper. Yeah. You have toilet paper in Canada? We do, actually. Three ply. Really? Oh, three ply? That's right. Oh, you try to one up the one, the one up America. That's correct. You know that we, we're coming out with a four ply just next month. Are you? He got it right. Way to go, Jack. There's 300 bucks for you. Nice job. Takes up to $800. All right, Gina, here's your first question to Jamie. Name the HBO series about a family headed by a mobster named Tony. Uh, what do you think? She knows it. She, she knows watches it? TV, yeah. She watches TV. Yeah. She knows it. All right, let's take a look. Jamie, name the HBO series about a family headed by a mobster named Tony. Goodfellas. Goodfellas? Yeah. Sopranos. Same thing. What are you, generalizing Italians? No, no, I'm just saying. No, you I'm just, just said we're all crooks. I'm just saying. I heard that. <laughs> you know, we were like right here, you and I. I'm just saying. Gotta talk bad about Italians. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. what? fine. I'm sorry. We're not all crooks. I'm sorry. Now. I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna go out and get my Camaro and go eat some spaghetti. I'm sorry. Is that what you want me to do? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got it right. I'm sorry, oh, Gina. Oh, she did not know the answer. Oh, oh, oh. The Sopranos, the correct answer. Next question I asked to Tony for you, Jack. What U.S. state is known as the Beaver State? I think you got it right or wrong. Jack, he got you... it wrong because he just doesn't know what a beaver is. He doesn't know what a beaver is. Oh, okay. <laughs> what U.S. state is known as the Beaver State? Uh, Texas. Texas is the Beaver. Why do they call Texas the Beaver State? Lots of beavers. Good. <laughs> he got it wrong. Way to go, Jack. Nice job. 200 bucks for you. And of course, uh, you know, the correct answer, Tony, is what? U.S. state is known as the Beaver State is? Oh, uh, Tony? Beaver yeah. State? No, you. Oh, me? Yeah. I didn't get nuns. Okay. <laughs> Oregon. Oregon's Oregon. the Beaver Oregon. State. Okay, Gina, next question to Jamie. What professional sport do the Detroit Lions play? 
What do you think? Think Jamie uh, got this one right or wrong? I think she got this wrong. I don't think, think she, she got it wrong? All right, let's see if we can get you another 300 bucks. Jamie, what professional sport do the Detroit Lions play? Oh, football. It is football. Uh, yeah. Who's your team to root for in football? <clears throat> I don't like football, so. You don't like, which sport do you like? Basketball. Who's your team, Lakers? No, um, they suck. Uh, it's about 76ers, yeah. Allen Iverson. Yeah, Lakers suck. They've only won back-to-back -back titles know, over okay. Allen Iverson. Wait, <laughs> okay. So, okay. Allen Iverson. Allen went over you. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Gina. She got that right. She knows football, the Troy Lions. What's the score? Uh, she has 900, you have 1,100. So I would be winning then. You'd be winning right oh, now. True. And you can extend okay. your lead right here. Here's the question I asked to Tony. I asked Tony, before hitting the big time, Chris Rock was a regular on what NBC comedy series? Do you think Tony got that right or wrong, Jack? He got this, oh, this, guy's a, com this guy's a comic, but- What do you think? I'm going wrong. All right, let's see if he so got it wrong. wrong. Before hitting the big time, Chris Rock was a regular on what NBC comedy series? Saturday Night Live. Who's your favorite person ever on SNL? Hans and Franz. Oh, we're gonna <laughs> pump you up, baby. Hans and Franz, ready to pump you up. All right. And then, and then, look at the guy. Oh, yeah. What's up, ladies? Don't pull yours up. What's up, ladies? No, don't. Oh, dude. <laughs> he got it right. I'm sorry, Jack. He knew it. He got it right. You're still in the lead. But, Gina, you can take the lead here. This is big. Last question of the round. You can take the lead for the wager of death. I asked Jamie, Beijing is the capital of what country? Oh, you've been dunced. Jack wanted to use the dunce. Gina, last question of the round. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this again for you. You have five seconds. You need this money here to take the lead. Beijing is the capital of what country? Hong Kong? Oh. I don't know. It's a wrong answer, oh, Gina. The third bucks right, goes to Jack. No, leave that cap on. What are you doing? Leave that on, puppy. All right. Now, Gina, what do you think? Do you think Jamie got it right she or wrong? She got it wrong, too. She okay, know. let's find out. Beijing is the capital of what country? China? Say it with conviction. Say it. China? Come on, believe it. China. Yes. It's all China. It's China. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? yeah? That's the answer? Yes! Oh, okay! <laughs> she got it right. I'm sorry, Gina. That question hurt you as much as the WNBA one helped you before. Recap the scores. 900 bucks for Gina. 1400 for Jack. He wisely used the dunce. When we return, Gina and Jack will be making a final prediction on the question I asked to Tony, Jamie, and Ashan. I asked them, Diane Fossey is known for her work with what animals in the mist? Bottom of the ninth. Bases loaded, two outs, full count. That's what we're talking, people. Everything will be decided after. The wager. Stick around. Boom. <laughs> Welcome back, Gina and Jack. Here's the scoop. During the break, you each picked one of our street savvy citizens, predicted whether they get the question right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed your current cash total. Gina's got 900 bucks, but Jack's got 1,400 bucks. Now remember, it's winner take all, so your entire future depends on this decision. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Here's a question I asked to Tony, Jamie, and LaShawn. Diane Fossey is known for her work with what animals in the mist? Gina, let's get your choice. You're down by 500 bucks, but you're still in this. So whose clip do you want to see? Tony. You're going with Tony. Jack's got a lead. Use the dunce cap to his advantage in the last round. Whose clip do you want to see? I'm going to go with LaShawn. You're going to go with LaShawn. All right, well, nobody picked Jamie. We're going to say bye to Jamie, and we're going to watch Tony's clip here for you, Gina. See if you can make a comeback. Diane Fossey is known for her work with what animals in the mist? Uh, gorillas. Gorillas in the mist? That's a right answer. It is gorillas in the mist. You win with Tony, Gina. We just saw him get it right. What did you say? Oh, no, you said wrong. How much did you wager, Gina? How much of your 900? 899 leaves you with a dollar. All right, you might walk out of here a rich woman, but let's see what Jack does first. He went with LaShawn. He's in the driver's seat now. Let's see what LaShawn says. Diane Fossey is known for her work with what animals in the mist? Gorillas in the mist. Okay, she said gorillas in the mist. That's a right answer, Jack. She got it right. What did you say, buddy? I said uh, she get it right. You said right. Punch it down. Let's oh, see it. You said right. Nice job. How much of your 1400 did you wager, Jack? What do you think I did? I bet it all, baby. He won for the house. 2800 bucks is now his total. And he has won six bucks for the day. What have we learned today, folks? Well, Hong Kong is not the capital of China because it's another city. All right. Good game. We'll see you next time on Street Smart. Bye-bye. Diane Fossey is known for her work with what animals in the mist? Okay, Jaguars. 